Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have another update regarding the release of the new Outlook for Windows, which originally Microsoft said and announced that they would be replacing the mail and calendar apps in Windows with the new Outlook for Windows starting in September next year in 2024. Now, this has been a bit of a backwards and forwards process. And then a little bit later, I posted another video where Microsoft had then announced and kind of backtracked that they are reevaluating the timing and implementation of this change and will provide updated information shortly because that was due to negative feedback and reviews by users um, of their different products and services, especially the mail and calendar apps. Now it seems once again that Microsoft has updated their um, Microsoft 365 message center with another update. And if we just head over to that post um, on their message center, yeah, we can see updated future of the mail and calendar apps in Windows with Outlook. And this was updated on the 20th of June. So that was a day or so ago in my region. And they say, yeah, we have updated the content below for clarity. Thank you for your patience. Now, this is the interesting part. By the end of next year, we will be replacing the mail and calendar apps in Windows with the new Outlook for Windows. So as mentioned, this has been a bit of a backwards and forwards process. So this is no longer now September of 2024, but as Microsoft says, by the end of next year. So um, we don't know exactly when that date will be, but um, by this latest uh, message center update, sometime in 2024, by the end of next year, um, you will have received the new Outlook for Windows. Now, something else to take note of, um, because I'll leave those other previous videos down below if you want more info, but something else to take note of here, um, how this will affect your organization after this change is implemented at the end of 2024. Um, the second paragraph here is interesting. Microsoft says, users who do not have a Microsoft 365 or Office 365 subscription with access to the Microsoft 365 desktop apps will need to manage their email and calendar in Outlook for the web. So basically, in a nutshell, if you don't have a subscription, you will have to then use the web version, the free version of Outlook. And this is interesting because uh, Microsoft has already released the latest version of Outlook um, for Mac PCs, which is free, which is not going to be the case um, if you are a free user of Outlook. And um, that means that Mac users don't need a Microsoft or Office 365 subscription to use the new Outlook, which seems to be the case now for Windows users who will need an Office 365 or a 365 subscription. And um, if you don't, then you will have to use the free version of Outlook.com, Outlook Online, as it's also known. So just letting you know, as mentioned, it's been a backwards and forwards process. But now um, Microsoft says that by the end of next year, um, they will be rolling out the new Outlook for Windows to replace the mail and calendar apps. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.